Okay, so let's take a look at square root of a rational perfect square. This one's actually pretty easy. It's a good start to learning how to simplify square roots. Here we've got the square root of 75 over the square root of 12. And of course, always our answer must be in lowest terms. One of these property one of the properties of the square root quotient property, you don't necessarily have to know that by name, but you do have to know how to use it and, and it's pretty easy it just means that any fraction that's entirely enclosed under the radical sign can be broken up into a, a smaller pieces the square root of the numerator over the square root of the de denominator and that's of course for any real positive numbers a and b so let's look at how we apply that to this problem notice that we've got 75 over 12 inside the square root. Our first step is always to simplify the radical under the square, uh, sorry, simplify the fraction under the radical sign. So we know that 75 over 12 reduces or simplifies to 25 over 4. That's really nice because when we look here at the 75 over 12, we notice that 75 is not a perfect square and neither is 12. But when we reduce it, we get two perfect squares, 25 and 4. Beautiful. We can break those down into two parts by that quotient property, square root of 25 over square root of 4. And of course, those just simplify. Square root of 25 is 5, square root of 4 is 2, and there's our answer, 5 halves. Let's look at another quick example. All right, in this example, we're simplifying the square root of 125 over 45. Remember, first step, step one, is to simplify the fraction under the radical. So we could write the square root of 125 over 45. Notice that both of those are divisible by 5. That's going to be the same thing. When we divide by 5, that would be the square root of 25 over 9. Now all of a sudden this problem gets much easier because we can split that up and say, oh, that's the same thing as the square root of 25 over the square root of 9. We can simplify those into 5 over 3. So the square root of 125 over 45 is the same thing as 5 over 3. That's our answer.